all you watercolor nerds out there. My name is Christian Koivuma and welcome back to another video. So 2022, can you believe it? A completely new year with a lot of new possibilities. And for me, obviously, uh, the big thing for 2022 to start with anyways is the release of my new course uh, that will be released uh, the 10th of January. So if you're interested, check it out. I'll have some links down here below. Another crazy thing about the start of this year is uh, the crazy traffic that's been coming to my YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm obviously really excited about that. Um, someone wrote in my comment section that uh, another watercolor artist here on YouTube uh, by the name of Jenna Rainey, or Rainey, I think her name is, uh, gave me a shout out. So thank you, Jenna, for doing that. Uh, I think that has helped the traffic on my channel a lot. So shout out to Jenna Reini, you guys, if you, you haven't visited her channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the eye of the artist. And uh, this is something that I find pretty interesting, actually, because uh, I do a lot of courses and I meet a lot of people that uh, have the goals to improve their skills as a watercolor artist and uh, I always keep hearing about these stories where when you start painting watercolors all of a sudden a new world opens up to you you kind of get the eye of an artist or the eye of a watercolor artist and um, I think it's a natural thing since you're trying to translate the world around you in the language of watercolor and all of a sudden you start looking at things around you with different eyes. Maybe things that you've taken for granted before all of a sudden is very interesting to you. You're probably looking at lights or shapes or anything that is important for you right now in your artistic development. And for me, obviously, I do exactly the same thing. I look at the nerdiest things around me all the time and people probably think I'm pretty weird when I start looking at a tree, uh, some weird shapes or some light hitting a rock or something like that. And I get really inspired. And uh, that's when I take pictures or I even take videos. So now I'm going to share a two minute video with you guys uh, from my trip that I took overseas to the States uh, during the holidays. And it's uh, two minutes long with short little video clips. And hopefully these videos will inspire you the way they have inspired me. So enjoy these two minutes and I'll be right back with you.
So all of you watched the same videos as I did right now, and I'm pretty sure that we all saw it with different eyes. Uh, some of you probably got enchanted by the fantastic colors, for example, in some of the scenes. Uh, and some of you probably were captivated by the beautiful distance or the perspective in some of the footage. And this is what makes it so great, because uh, we see different things and uh, we probably translate what we see in different ways as well. Some of you might have been really inspired by the perspective or the great depth that you could see in some of the footage. And uh, when you're looking at great depth like this, uh, maybe a few of you were thinking about the different hues or temperature between the foreground and the background. And if you didn't do that, uh, I would suggest that you would go back and look through the video again by focusing on the temperature, foreground and background. Because uh, this is something that inspires me and has been inspiring me for a long time. Because this is a great way to translate depth and this is something I like to incorporate in my paintings. And when I have footage that inspires me, um, the next step for me usually is to start to sketch with watercolor. Uh, making small, more simple, uh, maybe you would call it a more impressionistic style of watercolors uh, to kind of uh, playing around how I should translate what I'm seeing into the language of watercolor. So now I'm going to share three paintings from this footage that I did, uh, actually in a hotel room in the bathroom because that's where the light was the best. Uh, pretty simple sketches. Uh, but still a fun way to play around and trying to get idea what I would want to do if I would paint something in a little bit bigger scale. So uh, don't be too hard on me when you're looking at these. Here's number one. Uh, and you might have recognized this from the video. Uh, and what inspired me here was uh, obviously the light in the sky, but also the temperature the change on the mountains in the background over here. I thought I had beautiful colors and this was something that I wanted to incorporate into my watercolor. And in this one I was inspired by the, obviously the red uh, mountains on the side here. This is something that you don't see too often where I live. Uh, I've done uh, mountains like this before and I never really been happy about the my way of translating it. I'm not sure if I was happy about this either, to be honest with you. Uh, but I thought it was a beautiful scenery and with a great distance in it. Uh, and I was also inspired by the mountains in the background here uh, with the, the cooler temperature. And the third and the last one was a fun one. I painted it really quick. Uh, with a loose style and uh, what inspired me with this one was uh, uh, the exciting background with the mountains that you could almost not see going up into the sky uh, this was something i wanted to translate uh, and obviously if you've seen a lot of my videos you probably figured out by now that i, I really like painting in gray hues and this one has a lot of gray in it uh, I did some changes to the houses in the, in the foreground here, um, add some more color that was uh, that you could see originally in the footage, because uh, otherwise it would, would have been a little bit too much of the same. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you got inspired by something in particular, leave a comment down below uh, and let me know. And feel free to use any of the footage for making your own paintings. And if you want to share your paintings with me, it's, you can do that just by sending me an email. And you, you can find my email down below as well. Okay, guys, uh, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.